You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's evening prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O living breath from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred heart, Jesus, you are worthy of all things. So Without you, we would not have made it. Sacred heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, O sacred heart, our Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may calm and quiet all hearts. We seek comfort and mercies <clears throat> inside your gentle heart, O sacred heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you down on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice we have continued to sin against you. Our sacred Your sacred heart, your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity, to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. O sacred heart, what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks? For as the day progressed, you provided for us beyond measure. Your generous heart gave to us without condition, even though you have every right to demand from us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, we offer you all hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your sacred heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. <clears throat> oh, bless the sacrament. The tabernacle of our heart desperately needs you. Without you, it is cold and empty, but with you, it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate before you, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Lord, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown, 
we pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are grieving. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also pray for Bethany. Have mercy on her, O Lord, and on her family. Yes. Especially, we pray that her husband um, may return home and cease to have that to have a, an unfaithful relationship that she wants to keep her family together heavenly father you know whether or not this is your will i mean sometimes um, a man or a woman whatever the case may be want to live a life that it is against your will that doesn't mean that the other spouse needs to sit by and withstand abuse, sit by and run the risk of contracting a, a, a sexually transmitted disease. Doesn't mean that the other spouse needs to expose the rest of the family to to the the hardships of such sinful lifestyle. There are times when a divorce is necessary, when it's the best thing. Now, and I, I'm not advocating for people to remarry, or there's no, you know, that's not necessarily the best option either, but for the sake of the family, for the sake of the children, for obvious reasons remaining with a person that lives this way is not a good thing so if he would change his ways oh lord let this family be reconciled but let it, let it be your will upon them oh lord let it be your will and heavenly father we also bring to you the special intentions The special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, with our Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose Lord have mercy gracious Father as you fill us with your Holy Spirit let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us grant us a message of wisdom grant us a message of knowledge increase our faith Bless us with the gift of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. The gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love. All according to your will. And for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit 
so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you, servants. Gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts. As ambassadors of your holy message, here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord. God Almighty, make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you a sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty, and in constancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and uh, my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, o most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but Placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on when we do morning, afternoon, and evening prayer tomorrow and that you'll be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day, three times a day. God willing and technology allowing. If you'd like to submit a prayer request or if you'd like to find out more about our ministry,